was nine years old. I remember mom being pregnant. Mom and dad went to the hospital. They come back with no baby. And I'm like, where's the baby? And they said, she passed at birth. You didn't ask any questions. My mother and father both decided to give me up for adoption. It was, it was poor times back then. Very poor paying jobs. Mom had to go back to work. Something in my brain would pop into my head about my sister that supposedly passed away. I asked my parents, and they said, don't worry about that. This is your family. I says, I know that. I did something that all 10-year-olds do. I investigated their paperwork. And uh, it, it told the story of a married couple with an oldest boy, a middle sister, and then a younger sister, and then me. We did uh, the researches in the hospital documents, agency documents, went all through that, and nothing. I am 65. My friend and I said, well, let's just do a DNA. And uh, I decided to go to uh, my heritage and send him in. And uh, she got hers. And I opened mine, and I go, holy cow. I got a phone call from my niece, Lisa. She goes, Annie Vet, do we have anybody in our family named Colette? I go, no, not that I know of. She said, well, I have a Colette that reached out to me from my heritage, and said that we were related, that Lisa was Colette's niece. I said, that has got to be your aunt. I said, that has got to be my sister. There she is! I don't have words for it. It is just so deeply comforting and exciting. I didn't know she was alive up to four months ago. If you're looking for relatives and you have no idea where to start, my heritage will help you out. <laughs> and then if you want to go further, Legacy Tree does a wonderful work. You got mom's nose. Oh yeah? Uh, there's no words to describe it. It's almost unbelievable.